hello folks welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to see how to upgrade to see linux sp4 to sp5 on aws ec2 instances i have already launched an instance uh, which is to see linux sp4 sp4 which we are going to upgrade it to sp5 so i have launched the server already and i have uh, open the terminal and uh, mobile xtem i'm using an app called mobile xtem so now what we are currently going to do is uh, we are going to upgrade this susi linux dual sp4 to sp5 and why we are doing this uh, we uh, we are doing this uh, because amazon has stopped the services for sp4 so we are upgrading so amazon is not gonna support uh, so see linux 12 sp4 version so we are gonna upgrade it to sp5 to get uh, more to get to get support from amazon because amazon will be updating the latest amis latest version of linux flavors linux versus so uh, there are certain uh, packages which we can't Uh, able to upgrade when we are in SP4, so we need to switch to SP5. So today's video is all about migrating SP4 to SP5. Now let's go to the video how we are gonna do it. Now first thing which we are gonna do is we need to install uh, this plug this uh, zipper install migration plugin. This is a plugin which helps you in migration from lower service packet to higher service package. So let's type this, paste this command over here. One second, let me check. just refreshing all the repositories so let's see what's going to happen we might end up with some error so we can troubleshoot that i think it's taking a quite a time let's wait for all this packages to be updated Usually, Sushi Linux is used for SAP applications. So, basically, we use uh, Sushi Linux for SAP. SAP applications only supports on Sushi Linux and Windows servers. So let's wait. now we can see can you see this error we are getting this error when you are trying to update so let's about it for now i'll tell you why we are getting this error you see uh, let's check why we are getting that error With this command, Susi connect hyphen s. Susi connect is basic. This command actually we use it for 
to see if all the repos are registered or not so that is the use of susi connect hyphen s it's taking quite a long time let's wait for it i'll be skipping it so if you see here this is not being registered so we need see if you observe that we are getting that uh, below error while we try to install the package above mainly because the repositories were not configured which also meant that the operating system which was not registered as a client as smt subscription management tool so we need to run the following commands to register it so let me uh, run one by one run one by one command Now let's again check with this command to see connect iPhone S. now you can see that this has been registered okay let me uh, show you one thing now currently uh, the the version of susi is susi 12 spv4 sp4 now let's go to the migration process now again we need to run this zipper install zipper migration command we have to run this command so i think uh, the highest avail version is already installed so let's go for the zipper patch will update the latest OS patch update. This is the use of this zipper patch. It will update all the latest patch of the latest version of OS. You have to click on S continue. So it will be installing all the packages. I think it is installed. Now let's type zipper migration to start the migration process. This will install the OS. 
Uh, you can see all the latest version module is getting updated SLE modules so we need to wait for some more time to work with that I think it has been done now we have to click on you have to select one so that latest version of 12 SPV5 will be installed click enter now it's upgrading to SPV SP5 to see Linux interface to SP5 thing it will it will take a, some it will take some time so we need to wait for it now choose one click on yes now you should read this uh, user and user so see end user license agreement for now I'm just skipping it if you want you can uh, go through all the uh, documents then you can click ok press Q to exit the page now now click on now type S over here there again you have to go down and accept this you have to read this license agreement again go to them just quit the page uh, again type yes press enter So there will be a list of agreemental which you need to give us. Once this is done, a new version of SP if I has been upgraded. I think it will take some time I guess. I'm not sure how much time it will take. Let's see. Let's wait for the update to be finished. And this migration, why we are doing is when you are doing cloud end to cloud uh, server migration then it should be on the latest version of SUSE Linux or else there will be some dependencies where you can't able to uh, migrate the server from one cloud provider to another provider or on premises to cloud it may be AWS or any GCP you have to follow the same process And one more thing, uh, before doing this, just take a backup of your server so that if anything goes wrong, you can revert back to the old one. When you're doing it in production, I recommend to take a backup of it. So if there is any, uh, any uh, problem in doing this, you can revert back. I think the upgrade has been updated.
so let's again check with cat etc os release now we can see that from sp four to sp5 it has been updated you can reboot the server and you can check but i'm in my case i'm not rebooting the server so folks if you like this video please do subscribe like and share thank you thank you